Well, this is a, an old cemetery that's been here since the 1800s. And of course, there's a lot of uh, unusual grave sites here that, uh, that make good conversations. The Wooldridge Monuments uh, is called the strange procession that never moves. And, and all of the monuments were built by a man named Colonel Henry Wooldridge. He moved here when he was about 21 years old. He moved to South Graves County. And when all of his family died, he moved to Mayfield. And that's when he started building these monuments. Each one is to commemorate a family member his mother, his sisters, his brothers, and two nieces. Also his horse, his dog, a deer. The interesting thing about some of the monuments is uh, the monument of Colonel Wooldridge standing at the lectern was carved in Italy of Italian marble. And the top of his crypt was Italian marble also. The uh, rest of the Monuments were carved in Paducah and some in Mayfield. The one of Henry Wooldridge on his horse, and his horse's name was Fop, uh, was brought to Mayfield by a railway car. And as the, the car was coming to Mayfield, the town drunk got behind Colonel Wooldridge and rode to town in style. As one of the nieces said to him, Uncle Henry, Instead of spending all your money and time on those monuments, you ought to be worrying about where your soul's going when you die. And he said, well, I don't know where my soul's going, but my body's going to the cemetery. An odd thing that, um, at least I think it's odd, is there's no statue of his father. His father died before they moved to Graves County, but um, that, it's kind of odd that every, every member of his family, and including his animals, uh, were memorialized, but, but not his father. In 09, we had a nice storm, and a big tree fell on those monuments. And none of the women's monuments were damaged, but they knocked off the colonel's head on two of them, and uh, injured the animals and sold and it was rebuilt and about two years ago it was finished. Another interesting monument is the Angel Rock. And the angel is standing there and she is holding a bunch of grapes. And over the years all the grapes but one have fallen. And legend has it that whenever that last grape falls the world's going to come to an end. Well, her husband uh, was shot by his deputy, and she was appointed sheriff in his place, and then she was elected sheriff. And so that is an unusual, especially in those days, for a woman to be uh, elected any kind of office. But legend has it that at night, her husband is going all through the cemetery trying to find the man who murdered him. But he never finds him. We have one grave uh, where 11 people are buried in the same casket in a place called Hickory Grove, which is north of here. People were at a dance and they went out to get a breath of fresh air and they saw a glow in the sky. And they knew a house was on fire. And the time they got there, not one person was alive in that house. Well, they couldn't get anybody to um, get the ashes up to bury them. So they uh, hired a man. He came and shoveled the ashes in a wooden coffin, and they were buried here. There's a lot of ghost stories about the cemetery, and there's things people are interested in. You just can't ever tell when Henry Woolridge is gonna be riding his horse up and down these little streets. It might be a little spooky. I wouldn't come out here at night. <laughs> Would you?